Recently, the waters here in San Diego, in Southern California, all over, have been very clear, and the sharks have been exploring the shallow waters even more in large numbers. And there is where I can get some of my clearest footage I've ever captured of these great white sharks. Scenes like this, where two sharks greet each other in the shallow waters, seem to happen every day that I go out and film, here looking for the sharks in the shallow waters. Notice these three sharks are all in very shallow waters near the waves, and very near the shore. However, I focus on the one where the shadow is clearly visible in the spot I like to call the Bahama spot in the shallow crystal clear waters near the shore. In the next couple of minutes, I will be showing you some of the closest footage of the sharks in crystal clear calm waters where my drone gets just a few feet above the shark to look at it and its beauty. And sometimes its fin will go fully out of the water as you will see in some clips. Here, as the shark passes by the drone, the drone is no more than four or five feet above the water. That's pretty close, but as you can see, the shot I got of that close up was totally worth it. Here, the shark's fin glistens in the morning sun as I watch in amazement to look at this beautiful scene of nature. In just a few seconds, the shark's fin will fully come out of the water. There it is. That was such an amazing frame, and I watched in amazement that I had captured the shark's full fin going out of the water, and that was certainly a dream shot for me. In this clip, you can really see how close to shore the shark is as the fin goes by.
And I certainly saw this shark's fin from the shore too, and I sure hope some other people got to see this beauty as it was passing by near the shore. While most times of day are pretty safe to swim in the waters of Southern California, sunset is definitely not the time I would choose, personally, to swim or surf here in the waters near the shore. Here's eight sharks over a reef with hundreds of stingrays nearby, and they are converging, possibly to hunt in this shallow water near the shore to eat and conserve their energy. There were also some larger sharks nearby. Here's one of them. I estimate it to be in the 10 to 11 foot range. You can really see the girth and how much larger this shark is compared to the juvenile sharks I am very used to filming. If you look closely in front of the caudal fin, you will notice that it has the same type of injury as the shark tails that I have seen in 2021 quite a bit and it looks so the same, in fact, that I wonder could the same boat that struck tails be the same victim for this shark? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Further down the beach, a group of nearly a dozen more great white sharks enjoy the shallow waters to look for stingrays together. Here's the larger shark compared to a smaller six to seven foot juvenile shark. You can really see the size difference and how much larger this shark appears. If you love sharks just as much as I do and support protecting them here in Southern California and all over the world, show me by liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.